CONTEXT! So, some context to this video. I had this pet Primantis, okay, sadly it passed away. Aww. And with its passing, I posted on my TikTok telling all my followers like, yo, what should I do with it? Um, I don't want to just waste its body. Um, is there a way I could preserve it? Blah, 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 blah. And I got a lot of comments of people telling me that I should pin it. So, I did a little bit of research, you know what I'm saying, hopped on YouTube. All crack. And I watched three whole videos, yeah, three whole videos on how to pin insects. The third video I did not watch complete, so I'm kind of an expert. Just in case, I'm going to be practicing on some hissing roaches that I have. So I'm going to take you guys along with me on my journey on trying to teach myself how to pin insects. And with doing so, I just want to let you guys know that this is going to be a two-part series. So this is the first part. Subscribe if you're new. Nope. Big snakes. Yerd. Westside reptile. Yerd. This is. This is. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Subscribe to this. <laughs> Start the video. You're gonna to want to make sure the insect is relaxed because you know the insect might have wings. The insect, you just don't want legs to break, antennas to break, all that good stuff. So, yeah, it's best to make sure that the insect is relaxed. And you're gonna to need to make an insect relaxing chamber if your insect is not relaxed. It's something about the girl. We have some water right here, we have some plastic cups can see there's two plastic cups right here. We have a glass container. We have a lid. Bada boom, bada bing. We have some paper towels, some isopropyl alcohol. Now I'm gonna teach you how to put together and craft the relaxing table. Chamber, not table. This ain't Minecraft, or is it? But put it in. First things first, you grab a few paper towels. You know what I'm saying? Grab this and just shove it on in there, just like so. Walkie slash. You're gonna add some water, and the reason why we're doing this is to make it, damn it, I had too much water. God damn it. Actually, I didn't, so this is the perfect amount. So once you have your water in here like this, you're gonna then add, are you serious right now? Walkie slash. <laughs> You're gonna wanna add the isopropyl alcohol. Bada boom, bada bing. Just a little bit, okay? And that's gonna prevent mold, okay? Cause you are gonna leave this in for a couple days in order to relax the insect. So now what you're gonna wanna do, place that down. I right, grab this. And the reason why I'm using the plastic cup, if you have a bigger jar, you can possibly use just normal ketchup cups. You know, those containers that you stick ketchup or salsa, all that stuff when you go to a taco stand or whatever. And yeah, you're just going to want to shove that in there. So let me cut this down to size. So it's something like this. This one's, um, yeah, it's kind of messed up. So yeah, let's get this good thing right here. Might have cut it a little bit too short there. Damn it. Fire. You know what, that's just gonna have to work. Okay, so now you have the thing, all right, and you don't want the insect to actually touch the moisture. So this might be a fail. I don't know, we'll see. Oh, hell no. Bruh, this is so sus. Okay. Yeah. So I think that will work. As you can see, the water isn't actually going inside of there. It's just going to make the moistness in the air, the humidity in this little jar really high because there's water and then a little bit of alcohol just to keep mold and bacteria from growing. So it's been about five days, and as y'all can see, if I open this thing up, 
the relaxing chain. What the hell? Oh, hell no. <laughs> Booyah. So, as I was saying, it's been about five days. And let's check on the specimen that I was trying to relax. Okay. And yeah, it's actually worked pretty well. As you can see, the antennas are moving. Bada boom, bada bing. Um, body, yeah, it's moving a little bit here and there. So, yeah, overall, it has worked. Um, I would probably, if I wasn't in a crunch of time, I would probably leave this in for a little bit longer because, yeah, it's not too relaxed. But I'm trying to get this video out. So, let's now go over what I have to actually pin the insect with. BioQuip products. And we'll see how good the materials are and stuff. Um, I'm not sponsored or anything, but yeah. So this is going to be an honest review. We got these pins. Yeah. So these are actually what we're going to be using to pin the insect to the piece of styrofoam. Let's open this up. Let's see what the hell this stuff's looking like. Oh, crap. Okay. You know what? I'm not trying to stab myself, but yeah, there's pins right there. Now we got this magnifying glass. Um, yeah, this is really, what the hell is this? What is this? What is, what is this garbage? Why are we still here? Just to suffer. And we got this little block thingy. Yeah, I don't know if I'll be using this. Probably not though. So this stuff, the ethyl accelerate. Oh, acetate. Damn, I cannot read. Well, kind of ran out of storage there. But yeah, this is the ethyl accelerate. Uh, this is the ethyl accelerate. Acetate, not as ethyl acetate. And don't take everything that I say with 100% certainty because if I'm being honest, I really do not know what I'm doing. <laughs> we got this um, insecticidal strip for use as a toxin in insect taps. Active ingredients, blah, blah, blah. Keep out of reach of children. Good thing I'm 17. Uh -huh -huh. <laughs> Technically a child. Okay, read directions and precautions before use. Uh, eat that junk. This stuff, more pins. Um, these seem to be smaller. But since the roach is pretty big, I think we'll be using the bigger pins. Got the styrofoam and the little tong thingies, little forceps. You know what I'm saying? Look at this ASMR. Amazing. Got this styrofoam, little pen, and again, some stuff that I don't know what the hell I should be using it for. But I didn't do so good, so yeah. Okay, so just like that, we got this perfect shot. And I'm gonna try to be as delicate as can be. Um, what the hell am I doing here? Okay, first, from what I've seen in the videos, they just, you know, stab it. You know what I'm saying? So we're just gonna stab it. I'm just gonna, um, just gonna, um, how the hell? I have two, okay. Should've probably known that I had two. Just gonna make this incision. I think this is called the main incision. Okay, I went in pretty decently. Okay, now I want the antenna out and displayed. So, it's not, okay. Okay, you're really failing here, Chris. Okay, let me get y'all a better shot real quick. That's my stomach, yes it is. Jesus Christ. Now you don't actually wanna pin the antenna. You just wanna pin like near the antenna so the antenna is splayed out like that. Okay, that looks horrible, but it's gonna have to do. Okay, now I'm so dumb. This is really turning out to be much harder than I thought it was, okay? So we're gonna have to take out all this stuff right here, like that. Before we even pin it to the thing of foam, we're gonna have to spread out the legs. This roach is actually way drier than I thought it was. Is it gonna break? Bro. 
Oh, so I think you actually need to snap the joints. Do not snap the joints. What are you thinking? Saying it out loud though doesn't make much sense. That was a ripper. Wait, was that? Yeah, that was a ripper. Oh hell no. Should I just? You know what, guys? This is why this is part one. I. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? You know what? We're just gonna commit. Just full send, bro. Okay, just, just full send, dude. Since I did have this specimen in alcohol, as I ripped the legs, um, I'm just getting a stench of rubbing alcohol all throughout my nose hairs and yeah we'll be back once i rip the rest of these i really don't 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 use this video for advice there's probably better videos on youtube i should have probably watched more than three but oh, oh my gosh what am i doing yeah we'll be back i want to die um so yeah that happened what do i do in this situation yeah, my fingers are really fat and sausagey. I right? so you're gonna want to just, you know, what I'm saying, use the pin as like a little, a little puller. Yeah, look at that. See, if I would have just done that, I could have probably saved that leg. <sighs> but you know, don't dwell on the problem. Find a solution, Chris. Where's the part of your body that had the leg? There it is. What's up there? Okay, now this is gonna be. A really suspicious thing that I'm about to do, but if it works, I'll be the ul ultimate pinner of insects. Nah, nah, I'm just gonna. Okay, okay, guys, this is a very delicate, delicate situation. Boo! Yeah, bro. Okay, okay, low key, low key, I'm clean with it, bro. Hell yeah, I know what the hell I'm doing. Okay, guys, never mind. Don't watch those other YouTube videos. I know what the freak's going on. Stop, bro. You did not, you did not save that. Now, okay, we're gonna start just pinning his legs one by one. Bada boom. Okay, I don't know why my roach is looking that way, but. Yeah, he's doing whatever the hell he's doing. Okay, now we're gonna get him. If I don't stop grabbing two pins, I'm gonna kill myself. Jesus Christ. What am I doing? I do not have the patience for this. What the hell? forgot i had these i'm so dumb i can't believe i just i just spent 10 minutes of my life not knowing that i had those the whole entire time oh my gosh what the hell why is it like this don't do it in the joints like that what the f there okay you know what not bad not bad Okay, yeah, this technique is actually making much more sense using the things, the little forceps, to actually pull the legs out, you know, and then just pin it. This makes it so much easier. Um, before, I actually didn't even know what the hell I was doing if I was being honest. Boy! Yeah, since it's been five days, I watched the videos all in one day. It was pretty late at night, and it was about five days ago, so I didn't actually really remember what happened in the YouTube videos, but... <laughs> Yeah, that's a story for another day. Bada boom, bada bing. We just did that thing. Holy, holy moly. Wait, is that? That's not even on the leg. Okay. Boo, yeah. Okay. So as y'all can see, all legs are pinned. Um, Don't mind that one. You know what I'm saying? But... Overall, for my first time ever, I did freaking horrible, okay? If I'm being honest, I should have probably flattened this thing out a little more. That would have probably made more sense. You know what? I still can. Let me just... Okay. Yeah, guys. Don't do what I did, okay? Don't be impatient. 
that's the moral from this whole video. Don't be impatient. Remember guys, part two finna be coming out pretty soon. <laughs> Finally! And just like that, we are done with this video. Holy moly. I did not know what I was doing, okay? Next time I next time I try to teach myself how to do something, I promise I'll put more effort into it. I but yeah, guys, that's the end of today's video. Hope you all enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, do all that YouTube stuff. And I'm going to be pushing out videos real, real soon. I This one was low-key. I was lagging it, bro. I'm not going to lie. But we're going to get back into that grind. So, yeah, 2021. Let's hit a million freaking subscribers, dude. A million in one year, dude. No, okay. But, yeah, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Lates. Lates! Nice.